Okay, we're back and this is exercise one on page 65. And I went ahead and added um, the pronouns and the conjunctions and the prepositional phrases. And I assume you've probably already done so too because that was something that we've done um, on past exercises. So now we're going to identify the adjectives. And the way we do that is first of all, we go through and we identify all of our, all of our nouns. So pig is a noun. Yeah. So we're going to identify that. Man is a noun. We identify that. And wood. And I miss bundle. Oh, go away. Bundle. All right. So now we have, we have our nouns identified. Then we want to identify all of our articles. And we know those are adjectives. So we're going to make them pink. And... Okay, then we go through and we identify, um, we ask ourselves, which kind of pig? Well, we know, we've, we've looking pretty, pretty sure there might be a um, pronoun inside between the word, the article and the noun occasionally maybe, but we know that if usually second fat and pink all describe pig. And tall is going to modify man. Strong is going to modify bundle. And delicious smelling modifies wood. There we have it. All right, let's go to uh, number two. First thing we want to do is identify our nouns. So man, wood, house. Okay. We already see for myself is taken care of. So let's ask ourselves: do we see any articles? Here's the word A. All right, go to man and ask what kind of man, kind man. Please is a, is a request, so that's not gonna be an adjective. Go to the word wood and ask what kind of wood, cedar wood. Go to house and ask what kind of house, strong house. And we have it. Number three, let's find our nouns, man, pig, house, and wood. Now let's find our articles and highlight those as adjectives. Okay. Now let's go and look in for any more adjectives. So there's nothing before man except the word thus. So let's go to the next one, pig. Uh-oh, that should not be, sorry. Okay, what kind of pig? Fat little pig. So that's an at, those are two adjectives. And house, what kind of house? One story. And what kind of wood? Strong wood. There we go. The only words we didn't highlight is a preposition and then two action words. So we're, we're getting through most of our um, parts of speech. All right, let's go to number four and identify our nouns. Wolf is a noun. Pig is a noun. Pig is a noun. And house is a noun. The next thing we're gonna do is identify um, our articles, the, and that's all. Then we go and we ask ourselves, what kind of a wolf? A hungry wolf, or which wolf? The hungry wolf. Go to pig. What kind of a pig? Which pig? Little pig. Little pig. Little pig. All right, and then go to house. What kind of a house? Warm. There we go. And inside your warm house is a prepositional phrase. I didn't catch that. <clears throat> okay. Let's go to number five and identify the nouns. We have hairs 
and chin. <clears throat> This is not a complete sentence, <coughs> excuse me. All right, let's go and identify our articles. The, all right, we, I missed a conjunction right here. All right, so what kind of hairs? Green and pink. Now here's an, here's an occasion where all of the words in, in between the word the and the noun are not all um, pronoun, I'm sorry, adjectives. Here we have a conjunction in the middle. Okay, let's go to chin and ask what kind of chins. Well, double tells how many, and chinny chin are, they're just silly, silly descriptions. Okay, number six, identify our nouns. Here we have the word house and pile, and sticks. The next thing we do is identify our articles. Um, there's the word A. Okay, now we go to our nouns and let's see if we can identify any adjectives. Uh-oh, that one didn't get the right color, did it? Okay, what kind of house? Strong and wooden modify house. Pile, which pile? What kind of pile? How many pile? A great big. And sticks, what kind of sticks? Used and broken. All right, we're rocking and rolling with this. Let's go next to number seven and let's identify our nouns. Here we have. Uh, something's going on with that. Breath. Uh, last. House. Okay, and I forgot the conjunctions. Just because it helps. It's all a process of elimination. And we just want to, this helps us learn. All right, so now we want to go and identify our articles. Those are adjectives. We're going to make those pink. And huff, puffed, puffed, huff. Blue are all verbs. So the is an article. Okay, let's go to breath. What kind of breath? The, well, my house is having a problem. Deep modifies breath. And weak little modify house. Okay, number eight. Let's go around and identify the, the um, nouns. Walls is a noun. And foundation is a noun. And... Let's go and identify our um, articles. The, it's the only one we have. So which, what kind of walls? Unfortunate walls. Sometimes it's more about the structure than it is the word. Foundation, what kind of foundation? Weak, little. Okay, number nine, what are nouns? Wolf is a noun. Sticks is a noun. And wood is a noun. Next thing is uh, ask ourselves, are there any articles? So we have the word the, the, okay. Now we have to go and ask what kind of wolf? Now here's a very interesting thing. Starving wolf tells what kind, and winded wolf tells what kind. But very tells to what extent it's winded. Very is always an adverb, um, and we're, we're not, so we don't mark it, because it tells this, 
I'll explain to you the word winded is actually a verb, but in this sentence, it's acting like an adjective. So we're going to call it an adjective. And with it comes its adverb. So we're not going to we're not going to mark the word very. All right, let's go to sticks. What kind of sticks? Broken. And what kind of wood? Cedar. Oops. Messed up. Okay. And number 10. Pig is a noun. And pile is a noun. And rubble is a noun. Okay, now let's identify any articles. We have the word the is an article in both used twice. So what kind of pig? The second little pig are adjectives. Large modifies pile and dirty modifies rubble. And there we have so count up the number, number of um, adjectives you have, how many adjectives I have, and divide that by the number of adjectives that you got. And that'll give you your score.